what's up guys, Dizzy Collector back with a uh, new sort of video. I recently created this mock of Skull Scorpio that my girlfriend bought for me, so thank you very much for buying that for me. Now he wasn't my favourite, he's probably my least favourite from the 2015 Skeleton Wave. So I decided to give him a bit of a upgrade. And I'm not going to take full credit for this, I got the, uh, the idea of the upright sort of Nadiki body from Sebastian Levario from the Bionicle group on Facebook. So this is what he made, if I remember I'll put a picture in here. And um, I took inspiration from that. Uh, my girlfriend bought for me the, the next day or the two days after I saw that photo and I went to work on him. And this is what I came up with. Um, I gave mine articulated legs. This is sort of first version of him. I would like to, um, in the future, sort of extend the legs a bit more with another bone piece to be able to put armor on there. Instead of just the short ones, the uh, longer ones to put yeah, put the armor on there. Um, but I didn't have enough armor plates that matched the color scheme at the moment, so I just left it how it was. So this is phase one, I guess, the first version, the raw version. So I thought I'd break it down and show you just how I did it. So this is pretty much the uh, body of Skull Scorpio. Now you're going to need a second frame, one of the longer ones from Hero Factory with the extra pieces on the shoulders here. This is the way I did mine. Um, you could always... I didn't have a uh, chest piece, so I had to think of a different way to fill it out up here. So I went with, with having uh, one of these pieces to have those shoulder pads in there. But yeah, you're going to need a second frame because the one that came with it, you're going to need for the uh, legs and whatever in the uh, next step. So you can get a good idea of what's going on here. Just give him uh, legs. You can change it up a bit, whatever works better for you. This is just how I did mine. Left the arms exactly how they were. Back, I just have another Hero Factory or Bionicle silver piece, whatever you want it to call it. And yeah, this is pretty much what I have. Just have one of those extended pieces in there and this clips on here. Now the way I connected mine is I have these on like those are uh, swivel pieces where on one side you can connect the pins on the other side I can connect the uh, cross side of the pins. I'll show you what I mean by that later. I'm not very good at explaining it but yeah this is how my body turned out and pretty pretty happy with it for the time being. Might change it up later when I have more pieces and more time and have access to my better pieces because I had limited pieces to work on this with. So yeah, that's how he turned out now. So on to the next bit. So I removed all the plates of shell armor so you can see what's going on under here. Um, I've, this is the piece that came with the set. I used this for the top, kept that on there. Or oh, did I move that? I <laughs> no, I think, yeah, I think that's actually from the, actually how it is placed in the set. But I've extended these by one piece. Um, you need ones where armor can attach. Well, you can keep it skeletal if you want, but I like to... The skeletal effect would look fine, but uh, having it with that sort of fills it out a little bit. I think it looks pretty nice. And you can see on the top here, this is where I have the actual bits on the legs. The blue pins that were on the uh, stumpy legs of... Skull Scorpio, they plug into there. So I just have a sandwich press of uh, bodies. This one doesn't really go flush, but I'll work on that later. But for now, it works fine. The rest of the tail is exactly the same. So no difference in the uh, mechanism or anything. So it's just plates and plates of bodies. I have one of those small bodies in there. So that's how the legs attach. You have the uh, normal black uh, CC CCBS body with this smaller one connected on like that. So those two pieces our holes get put on with the pins on either side of the joint there. And that sits flush like that, so that looks pretty good. And the legs are just made up of 
you can you can see what what's going on here. You've got the normal Scorpio legs. I was going to originally try something else, but I thought keeping these would keep it uh, more. Well, it would look more like Skull Scorpio than if I was to change the legs completely. So instead of it, it'd look just too much like Nadiki, I think, if I was to bulk out the legs. So I like how it looks like that. Uh, but you can see what's going on with the legs. You just have this normal small piece with a uh, hand and then the Skull Scorpio leg piece connects onto that like there. Do that by six, connect two on the back, two on the middle here with that small body and then two at the front. And then you have these, you can use a blue or black, whatever. You need these to run up through there to connect onto that, through that, through that. And these two holes on the top here. And that's it's on down like that. And that's the whole body. You can just place him on, put the armor on, and that's pretty much how he goes. So, whatever. I'll put all the armor back on. And so there you have my version of Skull Scorpio. I did upload a photo to Instagram. My Instagram name is Darth underscore Chris Tarf. C-H-R-I-S-T-A-R-F. Um, so it got some co um, comments from the Biogramma community. And yeah, someone said it does look like a Skull Nadiki, which is very true. But uh, this is a lot better than the set we got from LEGO in my opinion. And it is sturdy enough to balance on four legs, as you can see here. It's um, just on the four. But if you have some friction out of pieces and you want to do it this way, I definitely suggest popping a few in there. I think it would help out a lot. I uh, used up mine on my last mock, so I don't have any at the moment. Need to get some of them. But, yeah, I think overall, I'm very happy with it. I think it looks cool. Again, thank you to my girlfriend for buying me the set. And who was it again? Uh, Sebastian Leviaro, who gave me the idea for the vertical torso, the Nadiki looking torso. Um, I will mention that the photo on Instagram at the front here looks a tiny bit different. I had another bone piece in there for this to come out a bit further. Uh, I got rid of that. I think this looks better. Um, this sort of came more out of point at the front, which eh, looked a bit weird. So, but yeah, feel free to copy it exactly if you wish feel free to change it however you want do your own version if you have Instagram and do a version of this make sure to tag me I'll put my name here so you can tag me and yeah thanks for watching guys give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one peace